Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Direwolf 20. Got some cool stuff going on today. Um, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that um, I got finished. Um, and then going over some of the stuff that we're going to do. So I'm looking at some energy production and some other ideas. So um, I'm going to pop right into it. So um, be right back. And we're back. So, uh, finished setting up all the machines. Got my iron chest up there. Um, added an energetic infuser because um, I created a cobalt pickaxe with I'm adding as much luck as I can on it. So, that'll be my lucky pickaxe. <laughs> and when I need to repair it, I can just chuck it in here and I don't have to use cobalt, which is awesome. And then we got the induction smelter up. So, um, already started using some cinnabar don't have any anymore but um, should use it to get the problem is so they were saying these shiny ingots right I don't really need shiny ingots for anything that I'm aware of that might be in nuclear stuff oh actually we need it for enderium blend to make these guys oh you kidding me So to make tesseract frames. Wow. Wow. All I can say is wow, that sucks. Do these guys drop? Those guys don't drop off anything. So, Endurium Blend, okay, there's that, oh wait, no, um, recipes for this, pulverize that, that is it. So one pulverized shiny metal will make four Endurium Blend, and then you pulverize that, oh my gosh. That totally limited Tesseracts, I mean you used to have them like by the dozens. Um, I guess I'm going to save my cinnabar now. Because if you put silver ore, um, I don't know if I have any silver ore in here. It's not cinnabar. It, it becomes, um, so let's look at this. Uh, so it's not induction smelter. It's, well, let's see, what recipes do we have? We have 33 recipes. So if we use so I was using them for iron to get ferrous metal, which I might not do. I might use um, this is interesting. So you can pulverize the shiny metal and re rerun it through the induction smelter to create slag. Interesting. Oh, and this is neat too, is you can put charcoal, four charcoal with an iron ingot and you can get steel. So you don't have to create the blast furnace to create steel anymore, which that's really nice. So that looks like it's part of any of the metals. So the gold creates with rich slag. So this is what I'm talking about here is this cinnabar, and this cinnabar you get from... This is what I'm talking about. So, if you use a cinnabar on ferrous ore, you get three ferrous ingots, which is amazing. So you triple your ore output, and then um, you also get a 100% chance at a shiny ingot. And the way you get cinnabar is pulverizing uh, redstone ore. You get a 25% chance, which is really high, actually. Um, oh, hmm, hmm, I like it, 
How do I create this? How do I create this? Blizz powder. Where do I get blizz powder? From a blizz rod. Where do I get a blizz rod? I'll have to figure that out. Um, pulverize. Oh. I'm guessing if I kill blizz guys. Oh. Okay. So one redstone into a snowball creates a blizz powder. I like it. Then snowball niter saltpeter saltpeter is pretty common um, redstone to create two cryrithium dust you run that through that creates a quarter of a bucket of gilead cryrithium and then two millibuckets into that oh we got some stuff to do oh that's going to be amazing but yeah so if you pulverize the redstone ore you get a 25% chance at Cinnabar, but that other method, it's a little longer method, but <clears throat> I'm thinking we can create something like that. That might be very interesting. Quite a big possibility. Um, but yeah, so Ferris Ore and Shiny Ingots. Um, oh man, that's going to suck. Oh, these things are neat. I'm going to have to check this stuff out. So, these Flux Electrum ingots, um, you use to make um, Flux infused items. 200 Flux also serves as shears. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now, this, if I understand correctly, no, maybe not that one. Um, ooh. Also serves as a hoe. Axe. Pickaxe. I think the pickaxe, if you empower it, it digs. Instead of like Tinker's Construct, where it's a 3x3, three three, but it's flat. So. The block you're pointing at, it'll pick three blocks around it. I think this one, um, I was watching a video and I think they are talking about it. I didn't quite catch all of it. I thought it was kind of cheaty, something kind of cheaty or somebody something was messing with. And wasn't actually in the game. But I guess this looks like it's in the game. <clears throat> so the block you're pointing at, it takes the block above, uh, the block below, and then a couple blocks, a couple columns in the direction that you're going so instead of creating a 3x3 three three tunnel like you do at Tinker's Construct you'll, you'll create a 1x3 so it's a lot more efficient and then you bounce through um, your tunnels a lot faster and um, per use and if you're doing like what I typically do is I do one every fourth uh, tunnel every fourth uh, block so if there's a diamond block on the left, m most diamond block nodes or diamond ore nodes that, that are more than one block are going to take up, um, you're going to see it on both sides. So there's very little chance of you missing a diamond. There might be a single diamond you might miss or maybe two diamonds, but it's very unlikely that you'll miss um, multiple diamond ores if they're clustered in three or more because they'll be on one side or the other so that's some interesting stuff in here you know not sure what this is used for just to keep it um condense it oh wait 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 oh what was what was the extra on this one hmm man i'm gonna have to play with these and see what these actually do but um to give you an idea <laughs> You know how, what goes into this guy? Diamonds. So two diamonds for every rod. And so that's only one. But like, that's two diamonds. That's four diamonds. And these guys here. So... Electrum blend. Okay, that's not too bad. So yeah, some cool stuff. Cool, cool toys. Cool new toys. And we're sleeping, hopefully. So 
I can get out. Oh, well, that guy around. There we go. So we're about out of time. I'm not sure how much time we've used up already. But we're pretty much out of time. Um, so yeah, I got that guy going. Oh gosh. Ooh, hey, two gold pieces. Oh, this guy wants a piece of me. What do we got? Magic or resistance and respiration. Cool beans! So, out of the... Oh, gosh. What? More? Dude, these guys are like... Uh -huh. These guys are everywhere. Was that a big hole? That was a big hole. There's like 35 of them around here. Great. That's that's just great. I like holes in my property. Oh, leave me alone. You guys are supposed to be dead. Go away. <laughs> leave me in peace. What did I ever do to you? I'm in here. I'm gonna find my other sword. Dang, the creepers are like they spawn by the truckload. Can't actually use the gold. I really don't wanna It's gold, I can't throw it away. I can't bring myself to do it. I just can't. It's too hard. Can't do it. No. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. Oh. oh. We got pink flowers. There. Here's there. Let's go pull up. I don't know if I saw it. You guys saw this, guys. I thought this was pretty neat. Chink, chink. <laughs> Say, feed me with their death and destruction. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I made that guy. Um, things going on. We've got this guy going over here. I hope there's room. Yeah. Look at all that, man. That's nuts. I'll take this. Out on my hand. Alrighty then. Cool beans. Cool beans. Well, guys, um, hopefully this time I'm accurate in saying uh, we're out of time. <laughs> Last one was a premature closure. Sorry about that. I get so so caught up in playing, man. Just having a good time, and it's like, oh wait, was I supposed to close it? now or next episode <laughs> or next clip doing stuff um let's see i kind of forgot what we we're doing kind of forgot what we we're doing so we got all that stuff going down there um oh i've been doing a lot of thumbcraft oh gosh that scared me Thought something was blowing up again. <laughs> so I've got all kinds of cool. I got water jars. Boy. You know, I've got all these cool. Oh, I need tubes. I need to figure out how to get tubes. Um, thomium. I'm still trying to figure out if any of you guys know how to kick off the goggles of revealing. I can't. I can't get that to start. So what you do is you come over here and you put one of these. Um, aspects in here and then you hit go and you have a random chance all oh, these pilot cabinets are great for all these you have a random chance to create um, like you create a research note but based off of what you put in there for the aspect is what you actually get and um, 
as you can see, I'm getting multiples of the same by, by putting different, completely different aspects. But I'm getting the same ones. Oh, and um, that's what I was going to say. So, before I'm interrupted, there we go. Got six apiaries. I think I've got two more in the at the house. And what I want to do is so what I'm looking for. Let me show you what I'm looking for. I'll have to. This will be a lot of um, bee breeding. Bee breeding is not a simple task. It's a pain in the butt. But once you get to like industrious and diligent, I think it is. Or the ones that produce the pollen, the royal jelly, and the pollen, I think it is, that you can make the alviaries in. Once you get to alviaries, uh, bee breeding is really, well, um, I don't know how simple it's going to be because the really good ratios are from using uranium. You put uranium, you put like two or three uranium in and a guaranteed mutation every time. I've never had one not mutate fully purebred mutation. Awesome. So I'm um, going to need to set up a quarry to start collecting those and for the quarry I'm going to want to create a miscraft age um, for that. So there's going to be a lot of that action going on. So over the next couple days, I'll be doing um, a lot of miscraft to find the age. I'll be doing a lot of um, bee breeding. Um, I think the things that I will do on camera are setting up the bees. So I did that in the last series of Unleashed. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up um, the creation of... not going to go with impregnated. We're going to use um, just normal untreated um, untreated frames um, they don't last as long as the impregnated but they're easier to make so with this farm over here um, so this farm here is producing like tons of wood if I have it going a hundred percent it produces a ton of wood and I can use those to create the sticks I need to create those and then three of these guys will make a string and so that I can use I can harvest these for string and then I can use the rest for trees um, if I set up a single thing like this like over here I can um, I can move the cotton to like three rows actually I probably only need like one row or two rows over here to where auto harvest and I'll have to do something about um, I'll probably have to set up some barrels or something because yeah, this stuff is not gonna, it's gonna fill up quick. Um, but yeah, so we got some stuff to do over the next couple days. Um, I've only gotten four ender pearls from these um, ender lilies, which, you know, four ender pearls is nothing to shake a stick at. That's amazing. But um, <laughs> we need a lot more. Especially that, oh gosh, that just broke my heart. Because uh, tesseracts are so clean when setting stuff up. And the fact that you need a shiny ingot for every tesseract, that means I've only got three tesseracts available right now because I've only got three shiny ingots. So I'm definitely going to have to be doing some mining and whatnot. Um, all right, guys, out of time. Like I said, <laughs> thanks again for stopping by. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. Both of these things help me out a ton. Um, and uh, if you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, requests, please leave a comment. I love your guys' comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And, um, yeah. So, you guys, um, play safe. <laughs> Stay away from creepers. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. And we're back. So, I got some ideas. Um, problem I have... I need to be able to produce MJ for all the B stuff, for the distillery, um, not the distillery, <laughs> um, for the squeezer, the, 
uh, carpenter and the centrifuge all require MJ. Um, I have not tested whether or not it takes redstone flux. Uh, some of the other mods that have taken uh, MJ um, take a different ratio of redstone flux, but I know for certain that some of the stuff doesn't, so it will be a lot of trial and error. I have to actually go. I didn't think of doing that for the the refinery. I'm pretty sure the refinery doesn't take any um, uh, redstone flux, but I'm also not sure about all the other stuff. But one of the things I want to do, um, so I figured if I create an endothermic t pump in the nether that can collect some lava, and I found this nice, so I don't have quite enough ender pearls. I'm not quite ready to use the ender pearls to make some ender tanks and stuff. Um, I've only got four. I've got four ender pearls. I've seen a total of like maybe six endermen and not one of them dropped anything they, like half of them ran off because it was daytime um, but this guy right here a drum that'll hold 256 buckets now an endothermic pump is its own chunk loader so i can take a couple of these into the nether and you know maybe three of these and you pick them up and it keeps all the contents in there so um, I don't even have to stay in there. All I gotta do is set up a little um, set up a little shack and let it go. And um, I'll have to come back later and pick it all up. But still, that's I I think I can live with that. Start off with uh, 256 buckets to begin with. Um, but yeah, let's see. So the other pieces I need, I need four redstone. Oh. Seriously? Move that off your hotbar as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, let's see, got that. Uh, yeah, here we go. I need one of these. I actually need two of these. And, oh yes, I need one of those okay so we've got um i need so endothermic pump i think i need two more buckets you can even uh cut it up be like a fake endothermic pump <laughs> i wonder if it actually runs with it cut up that'd be interesting okay so we've got Okay, we need one diamond, two buckets, so we need nine iron and stuff. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on here is, can we put those up there? No, okay. So here we need this in a cross section. We get these ender-infused obsidian. That's the first thing we need. Another thing we need is an eye of ender. Um, that's going to go in the center. Um, we need a bucket of lava and a bucket of bucket of lava, bucket of water, mining pick. Actually, you know what? I think I've got a mining pick up here. The sun's gone down. You know, I don't mind mobs running around as long as it's not a spider. Spiders are so annoying. <laughs> Have I said that enough? Can I turn this? Uh, no. Okay. I guess I can't turn that. Um, okay. I was hoping to turn it. Let's see. I need. I think I saved one. I got one from a chest. Let's make um, a bucket of lava, bucket of water, and one diamond. I think my pretty sure my diamonds are downstairs. Energize. 
buy one diamond. I want to get a lot of um, lapis on this. Right now, I've only th I think I've only got like 47 or something, but I'd like to get a lot. I've got um, 16 diamond ore here. And how much copper do I have? I'm wondering if I need to go up higher. Copper and tin is kind of low. Um, because if you mine higher, you get like starting at about 50 and up, you do a good job of getting the copper and the tin and maybe even more iron. 50 ferrous. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the cinnabar on the the ferrous ore. Cause that's just not, this is not right. Let's see, yeah. So what I did is I added a bottom option. So if I wanted to pulverize something that doesn't go into like obsidian, obsidian doesn't go into the smelter. So that would just mess things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that iron in there. And so we've got our diamond. I think we've got everything. Um, well, let's find out. Pick water, lava, diamond. Yeah, we've got everything. I don't know what it was complaining about. Um, I don't need that. Okay, so let's get rid of this iron. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we've got our drum. We've got our pump. We need a magmatic engine or dynamo. Um, that's going to be Ingvar. Should have known. That's, yeah, so we need, well, I've got two, well, I guess nine, so one, two, three, and then six, dang it, so I guess that's a bug. <laughs> So if we do six, three, that should get us nine ink bar. And we need 11 ink bar. What do I do with those other two? Picked them up. How do they end up down there? Oh, dang it, I hate it when I do that. I'll grab something, and instead of putting it in my inventory, I'll put it like right there. I'm so used to these being smaller. Okay, so I think I need my iron. So if we go here and we go here, yeah. Okay. So we got two of those, three of those. What else do we need? We need a redstone. So three redstone and a silver. So three redstone, ten silver. Okay, so we got our magmatic dynamo. Um, oh, hey, I still have three buckets. I didn't know I get to keep the buckets. Okay, let's put two of these in here. Um, okay, so I need fluid ducts. I've got four, I only need two. Um, actually, I don't need fluid ducts. I need um, energy conduit. I'm hoping this works. Guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> um, oh yeah, no, I do need fluid ducts. Uh, I guess I'll find out if it pumps it out of there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna grab a tank as well, and just in case. Because I think it's more likely to do, dump into a tank than it is. Um, no, what are you doing in there? 
I'll go in there. Oh wait, where'd you go? <sighs> Definitely don't go in there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Put some of this stuff away. Um, let's see. <laughs> Let me stay up here. Definitely don't need you. What do I have copper in here? I don't know. Let's put all this garbage in here. I've got tons of stuff. Oh, I found some niter earlier. Really cool. Um, did I only put one stack of books away? Um, I don't need you. Let's see what else do I not need. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. All right. Exit stage right. I have no arrows. I do this all the time. See me scared out of my mind. <laughs> oh. Yeah, got him in the air. Oh gosh, that scared me. <laughs> that didn't take long. Uh. Cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. Call me cheaty. I didn't bring any bricks with me. That's how prepared I am. I'm always prepared. That is not a good idea. One blast from Mr. S Mr. Uh, so what I can do, check this out. Okay, um, let's see here. So, where is this guy? Yeah. Okay, so I think 32 is normal. What is that? Sunstone ore. Oh, that's ours, Magica. Okay. Yeah, 32. So we are at 33. Can I hit that down there? Okay. So I should be able to um, lay everything out here. Let's get out of bat form. Okay, so now we're at 33. Okay, um, I'm going to. I'm scared. <laughs> you see me? I'm like, oh, give me a block. Okay, um, actually, I can just go. I didn't die. Okay, so let's see. What was that? Oh, that was me eating. Okay. So endothermic pump. Um, right there. Put a magnetic dynamo right there. Ooh, it looks like it does. It paired it up. Um, oh, I didn't need the leadstone. I didn't need the... Put that 
guy there. And then all we should have to do is go get a bucket of lava from Mr. Cheaty Bat. Alright, 22 buckets. Oh my gosh! Amazing! I'm make a couple more barrels. Two hundred pearls. Now check this out. This is the cool part. Check this out. I'm not talking about me turning into bat. Where's it pulling it from? I have no clue where it's pulling it from. So it's right here. Should be pulling it from, oh, it must be underneath here. It'll fill all this in. Okay, good, I'm not on, so we're on that chunk there. So yeah. Oh man, that's amazing. See, nobody can see me. Dude, this thing's almost full. Oh my gosh. How does that happen? Um, I'm going to wait here a little bit and uh, for this to fill up and I'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> um, I'm stunned silent. That worked a lot better than I thought it would. It worked so well, I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just going to let it sit there and collect all that um, lava while I'm off doing something else. And I'll come back and pick it up and... And I'm just like, oh, it's done. I do kind of think it's broken, though. I think the endothermic pump is taking RF as a one-to-one -one ratio to MJ. Because it was keeping the magmatic dynamo was still filling up when the endothermic pump should be taking 15 MJ, which would be about 150 RF per tick, which means the magmatic dynamo should have been empty of um, RF storage because it's only out, well, I guess it only outputs it, it only produces at 80. So, huh, I don't know, crazy stuff. Which should have been only 8 MJ per tick, which means it might have been a little slower, but it, it's still half speed. You come back in 20 minutes, it's full. You know, that's that's amazing. That's like crazy fuel. That's almost worth making, um, well, it kind of is worth making. Uh, well, if you made a lava age, I don't know how to make lava ages, but if you made a lava age, and that that one thing right there could power your I guess that's why they say don't use lava because it's kind of cheaty I I mainly well I wanted some lava to do some stuff with and for the smeltery but I also need it for obsidian because there's a lot of stuff around here that a lot of the higher end stuff takes obsidian um, but the thing that I want to get into is I want to get IC2 set up and to do that I need some type of energy production and um, so I can create ethanol. Ethanol is 128k EU per tick, but I need MJ to do it. Um, I could do coal, but coal's not efficient. I don't like 
because you throw coal in a generator, and if there's one EU to fill, it'll use up the coal. And there's always one EU to fill. So it just, it's stupid. Um, other possibilities. Um, I don't like the solar panels. The solar panels have issues. Um, we're seeing issues. They're talking about issues with they create a bunch of lag on the, the higher end ones. And I don't know why they don't have um, hybrid solar panels in here. I thought, and I thought that kind of weird. Those are a little better. I mean, they take a ton of stuff to build, but they're a lot better as as far as um, as as far as uh, reliability and um, stability, like server stability. I know I'm only playing by myself, but I like to do things as if other people were here, because you know you guys are here watching me, right? You keep me honest. <laughs> so I got cheaty lava, right? <laughs> okay. Well, we are out of time. Again, so fast. Um, this is why I have so many videos, because uh, we go so fast. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks again for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And um, if there's anything you'd like to see, like me eating more jerky, um, <laughs> Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me some suggestions of stuff that you'd like to see. Um, I do want, I don't know if um, I've mentioned it earlier, but I found a, um, a picture that I really liked, a reference picture, and I'd like to build like a little mini castle on top of that pillar right there. And then through the inside, um, as you'd come down, there'd be different floors as you come down, but it'd come out to a little door at the very bottom. I think that'd be kind of cool. And we use we won't use any of those the elevators. It'll be all some type of stairs. And um, I'm gonna try to stay away from ladders. I want to do stairs the whole way, some type of stair arrangement. So it. It looks really nice, but I think that'd be really cool. All right, guys, um, take care and have a good one.